And going to that time as well, a lot has been written and said about the leadership of Kevin Rudd and that, particularly that, that, that group that was involved, the Gang of Four, as it's been called. What was your assessment of the leadership at that time? Uh, in, in terms of, I mean, I, I don't want to talk too much about this, obviously, uh, and I, I'm never going to write a book about this period. Um, I think it's quite unfair. I think it's quite unfair uh, of people who have that special relationship with government as an advisor to then sit back uh, after the event and, and talk about how well they performed and, and what they uh, you know, which bits of my advice they took and which bits of my advice they ignored and, you know, if only they'd listened to everything I said, how much better the place would be. And a lot of people write that kind of stuff and I, I, I think that's quite unfair on the, on the politicians at the time. But I would say this, that um, uh, the uh, uh, interest, the intense interest that Prime Minister Rudd showed in the issues and the fact that he got onto them so early... Uh, is a great credit to him, actually. I, I think um, the story has been told that um, as early as the 29th of February 2008, uh, which is, what, six, seven months before Lehman's collapsed, um, he, he asked me straight out on a, <laughs> on a VIP plane flight to Gladstone. Uh, we just settled into the flight and he went across the table and he said, what's the worst thing that could happen? And my brain was not in that space. And it should have been. Uh, and it took me a while to understand that he was talking about uh, the possibility of a global financial crisis hitting Australia and how that would affect Australia. And I think that's to his very great credit that he was so far ahead of where, well, so far ahead of where the world was, actually, and a long way ahead of where we were in the Treasury, even though we've been thinking about these issues in the abstract. One 